kicking over a house of cards depicting the leadership of militant groups in Donetsk, eastern Ukraine. And at the bottom, a face immediately recognisable, that of President Vladimir Putin as a joker, is a symbolic piece of art showcased at a new avant-garde gallery in the Czech Republic. The show was arranged to document the fate of the Izolatsia Cultural Center from the now-occupied Ukrainian city, seized and looted by armed bandits loyal to Russia in June 2014. Sergei Zakharov, who actually spoke with Ukraine Today last November about his satire work and captivity at the hands of militants, is one artist exhibiting his work at the event. He gave an insight into what the House of Cards really represents. What about the caricatures? They were designed for the construction of the House of Cards. It's an installation that transforms into a performance. The main idea is that when you take out the key card of the Joker, this is Putin for us. The whole card house, these artificially created organizations like the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic, are destroyed. Izolatia was founded in 2010, four years before the militants arrived. It was designed to be a platform for cultural initiatives, a one-of-a-kind project in Ukraine at the time. At the time, this was the first cultural centre of this type in Ukraine, and it was a centre where, with the help of culture, we wanted to change the social structure of society. We wanted to use culture as an instrument to change the post-industrial situation in the region. The artists exhibiting here hope international visitors can learn more about the plight of hundreds of thousands of people from now-occupied areas of Ukraine forced to flee to avoid a future under the rule of militant forces.